I think it's a chemical spray and I said spray what where no no sir mm -mm. this macadamia nut syrup though whoa <laughs> that's probably I'm gonna be all over the place with this video today okay hey loves it's a back on your screen with another one hope you're all well as you can tell from the title today we're getting real personal with personal hygiene I mean these are all the products, tools, and tips I have. For those of you who are visually impaired, scratch that. Anyone, whether you can see well or not, these hacks I have today are gonna help you stay clean and fresh. And with spring around the corner and summer not too far behind, hopefully, hopefully Toronto gets the memo, I want you guys to be your best self going forward into all four seasons. So let's get into this. As we go through these things, and I got a lot of things, so grab a bevy and grab a snack, I'm gonna give you a couple sightless hacks. Cause as you know, it's been what, 12, 13 years of me living with Stargardt's disease. I've had to remix how I do things to remain fresh and clean. The first, cause we're gonna go from the bottom up, I think that's gonna be the fastest way to keep it short and sweet. My feet, I don't care what anyone says, Feet are ugly, and right now, I got some gargoyle feet. I haven't gotten a petty this entire year, and it's already April. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So to maintain the best I can without seeing my feet clearly, I use a little scrubby. You can get these for a couple dollars from Sally Beauty Supply. I can't lie, I got this one because purple's my favorite color, but more importantly, <laughs> This is the most rigid one. And if you know how long I stand every day, even though I have an office job, I still catch myself running around and standing a lot. I need to make sure that I buff the bottom of my feet ever so often. I don't care whether you are single, solo, dolo, married, taken, called for. You wanna tuck into bed with your toes feeling super soft, and this is your best way to do it. If you can't see your feet, if you're far gone like me, you're just gonna use your fingers to feel wherever it needs a little extra love and buff that part away. So sad to admit, but it took me years to realize that moisturizing is key when it comes to ugly feet. I love using this peppermint lotion to be honest, it's not the smell, because the only peppermint I like is peppermint tea, but the way this hydrates your feet, you'll need to scrub less and less, and especially if you're trying to keep up in between pedicures or if you just do it by yourself all the time, this is the best way to make sure your feet are fine. In full transparency, this year is not like most years. By now, I would have had four or five pedicures because I do not bother with my feet. I hate trying to paint my toes and having someone look at me like a tragedy. So I usually go and get a pedicure and that's when they polish my toes. <clears throat> Sorry. Oof. I haven't even started talking yet. This passion fruit juice is so good. Anything I can't see, I leave it to the professionals. So I used to go and I'm gonna get back into the rhythm of it, getting a pedicure at least once a month so I can have my toes nice and polished and buffed. I can of course do the buffing at home, but the polishing, the last couple times I tried to do it and someone looked at my feet like I was crazy, I knew I needed to let it go, so. <laughs> From the feet moving up to the biggest part of the body, the legs. The best way to maintain your legs is, well, probably laser, but I'm not ready to do that quite yet, so I stick with the shaving. How do you shave hair you cannot see? You gotta feel up your leg, cause you know your legs, well my hair grows down. Maybe your hair grows the other way around and trying to do the exorcist, but my hair grows down so I rub my hand up and I follow with the razor and when I think I've done, cause I'm usually not done, I'll run my hands up my leg again. That sounds wrong. I'll run my hands to make sure I haven't met a, missed a spot. It's like I remember when I first started having hair on my legs, I was in middle school and I hated that. I used to like shave it every day, which is probably why I'm still in the routine of shaving every other day, even in the winter. Cause I wanna tuck into my bed and have nice feet and smooth legs. Especially with the spring and summer coming along, you don't wanna be caught slipping. That was just the warm up, cause now we're getting real personal with it. Let's talk feminine hygiene. We're gonna talk about the cycle. We're gonna talk about just inside and out. <laughs> so I do not shave that area. I mean, I do in between laser, but that's what I'm trying to say. It has been a game changer. If you cannot see your hairs, get someone to remove it for you. It is so much better, and I do not care what anybody says. Hair down there means that you're going to attract bacteria, 
and you're not gonna be as fresh and clean as you can optimally. I decided a couple years ago that if my vision is gonna be as bad as they say it's gonna get, then this needs to be dealt with. So laser was the best expensive decision I ever made and I wouldn't change it. I mean, is painful? Not as painful as waxing. Is it this, is it that? Da, da, da. And eventually I tried it and I never looked back. It is day and night. Like waxing is better than shaving. Don't get ingrowns there, which is a whole nother problem because if you cannot see and you have an ingrown, game over, grand opening, grand closing. At least if you get laser, you're less likely to get ingrowns. You're not gonna have darker areas because you know when you shave somewhere too much, it gets dark. And I did not wanna have dark armpits, no sir. It's also just fresher because there's nothing binding to the scents and essences. While we're on the topic of scents and essences, I might not be an OBGYN, but I know that scents are natural. Now, if they start to smell putrid or pungent, that's another story, I, I can't help you with that. Go seek your provider. But ever so often, I hit them up with the boric acid. <laughs> Especially after a cycle, I just wanna be boosted and fresh. I use this, because this is a natural alternative. My GYN recommended refresh. I think it's a chemical spray, and I said, spray what, where? No, no, sir, mm -mm. I use these instead, and I swear, Use them at night. If you've tried them before, you know exactly why. Now when you're on your cycle though, especially if you're dealing with sight loss, I recommend a salt cup. This is something that was really big a couple years ago. I remember every time I clicked on someone's page, they were talking about the Diva Cup. And when I realized what that was, I was like, you want me to put what where? It was when one of my managers recommended it to me years ago and I said, not you too, they got you. A year after that, I decided to give this a try. I'm so happy I did. I don't know what's with me hearing from somebody and then a year later deciding to do it. But for me, it always takes a year. Laser, it took a year of me being told the salt cup, well, I think she had a Diva cup, but I got the salt cup because I don't remember why I bought it over the Diva cup, but there was a reason back then. This is a cup that you use to catch your cycle. That's like the easiest way to put it. At first, there's a learning curve, I cannot lie. But once you figure it out, you don't have to worry about leaks, you don't have to worry about fragrances, you don't have to worry about leaving it in too long because this is 12 hours, whereas a tampon is six. The idea of something that needs to be discarded still there, that's why I don't bother with pads. I highly recommend this, especially if you're visually impaired. And to all the people who ask, how do you know you're on your cycle? I can still see, I have really good peripherals. Hello. There's four other senses, and you cannot tell me that you don't smell it, because I, TMI, can smell other people's, not their cycles, I can smell when they don't take care of themselves. Maybe we'll do a whole nother video on that, but I feel like I've said a lot, and I've said enough right now. I'd say after age three or four, there's no reason for you to have skid marks. I don't care how much sight you've lost. Get you these. It doesn't really matter what brand you get, just as long as they're formulated for your feminine parts. That way you can be fresh and clean, not just on your cycle, but I use these every single morning. So that's that on that for feminine hygiene. Moving on up in the body, let's talk about the armpits. Like I said, I've already gotten laser, so I don't have to worry about hair removal. It also helps with scents. But another way to make sure you stay fresh all day is a good deal. I use the Dove, and I've been using this brand for years. I took a break, tried natural deodorant, said, mm -mm, not for me. Came back to this. It doesn't turn my whites yellow, which is very important. You have to be careful if you're wearing black. Usually if I wear black, I'll wipe wherever the clothes folded, because sometimes I can't actually see the streaks, but someone else when I leave my house will see it on me. If you're visually impaired, either put on your deodorant after you put your clothes on or just instinctually wipe to make sure you have no DO strokes. Like I just mentioned, I tried, I dabbled with natural deodorant for a while and out of all the ones, this is my favorite one. I don't even think it comes in this packaging anymore. I've had this for years. If I'm going to the beach, I don't care where I'm coming from. I need to be fresh. I can't be stinky just cause I was in the sun all day. So I'll put this on in the morning and I'll pack this in my beach bag so that I can refresh throughout the day. And when I come home, I still smell good. Natural deodorant is supposed to be better than synthetic. So either way, make sure you smell good, okay? Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what's after the underarm? Oh, the hands, okay, 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 okay. I have a love-hate relationship right now with my nails. I'm happy that I'm back to natural. These were so thin, 
They are still thin, thanks to getting shellac for over a year. They were so long with the gel on top of them, but once you take it off, I had to cut my nails right off because they were too fragile. If you are a girly girl and you want to look manicured all day, the best thing to do is actually go to a professional. You can still try to paint your nails. I have a video on how to do that while being visually impaired. You can click over here. My method for taking care of my nails right now is not to do polish, but to do strengthener. If you're washing your hands as much as you should, since we're still technically in a pan, then you're gonna need to keep your nails strong. And I love using this strengthener. I've tried many. One of my very first videos was actually on a nail hardener and out of the many I tried, this is the one that I've been using ever since. It's so good. It is a little pricey, but it's worth it because you can just use it whenever you need to strengthen your nails. Then take a break from it, then pull it out of your arsenal again. It's just, it's a staple. To keep your cuticles soft and hydrated, even if you can't see them, you can feel them. I use a cuticle oil. I've never bought a cuticle oil. I have so many bottles of these. Back in YouTube's heyday, I used to run to Sally's Beauty Supply to buy whatever Fafa Nut X said she bought. So I have so many of these on deck that I just use them whenever I feel like my cuticles are a little tired and I push them back. A couple tools to talk to you about when it comes to oral care. The absolute most important thing you need because if you cannot see what's stuck in between your teeth, hopefully you have a real one who's gonna tell you when you're out, but if you don't, a Selka brush, and I don't know what this is called, but it's a silicone pick, and I use either of these nightly or before I go out. It is not a look when you go out to dinner and someone says, ah, oh, you got Oh dang, chia seeds from earlier, really you gotta play me like that? Prevent that, I use these. I don't know how much this costs because I got this from my dentist. This stick is cheap, but the replacements though, they're asking for gold. But I'm telling you when it comes to looking presentable when you cannot see yourself, it's very important that you are intentional and you take extra time and care. I also use these, you might've seen these before because I've done hack videos. These are multi-purpose, if you know, you know. They are dental floss loops. Now, who likes flossing? I don't, I definitely don't. I try to do it three times a week and even that is pushing it for me. But when I do, I have to use this to loop through the bottom. Let me know down below if you've got the metal retainer too, because I don't know why they install that in our mouths. As if braces wasn't traumatic enough, they have to put the wire in the back. Ever since then, which has been a minute, I got my braces off when I was, what, 19? I've had to use dental floss loops to get the floss through. I cannot floss my teeth without these. Same thing with the picks. If you can't see what's in between your teeth, it's better you just clean for cleaning's sake. Keep my teeth white. I use the Sensodyne. Can you believe this ish is $12 in my neighborhood? I went to Walmart to get it for $6 after because I said never again. Who's paying $12 for toothpaste? Hmm. I know it's a big bottle, but still. But this Pro Enamel is especially good because it's supposed to protect the teeth, which sometimes when you're using a whitening toothpaste, it can make it sensitive to the point where you whistle, you feel pain, you breathe, you feel pain. You don't get that with this. Lately, I've been going hard with the coffee. You know the lifestyle to compensate for that i've brought out this kit again i highly recommend this especially if you've already had one from a dentist then you'll know how to use it the first time i ever used whitening gel it was actually given to me from my dentistry so they're just like these little syringes that you put into a tray my tray is molded to my mouth i just put a tiny dollop can't see it but once i put it in i can feel it and if you don't have one that is fitted and molded to your actual teeth be very intentional. This stuff is potent. And the last thing I want is for you to breathe and feel like your teeth are gonna fall out of your mouth because they're that sensitive. But if you have any amount of staining, this will blast it all away. I went to the dentist last month, was it, or the month before last, and she did a good scrub-a-dub-dub. And then she said there is some staining, so I knew I had to start this up again. I can't see the staining, but if she can see it, the average person can see it, and we don't want that. And make sure you know how to use it, because different percentages require different times. I'm gonna make this video short and sweet, but I knew it would take a minute, so we're probably gonna have to leave the hair alone for another day. When it comes to going from curly to straight, or making sure that your hair is laid and you can't see these little frizzies, or when you're doing your hair and you're putting product in and there's a big clump and blob on your curls, oof. Save that for another day. Let me know if you wanna hear about that. But we'll finish off with the face. So if you have a face full of makeup like I do today, 
This is your best friend. I've been talking about this for what, seven, eight years? I have never looked back. Before this, I used the Clarisonic. So sad that when the pen came, they went out of business because they're a good option too. But for real, a one day one, okay? I love my fresh soy face cleanser. Since I first did that review nine, 10 years ago, holy grail. But sometimes, depending on what kind of eye makeup I'm using, is not enough. I followed up with this micellar water, which was recommended to me by my lash tech. I used to get eyelash extensions many moons ago. I don't even know if it's worth it because I can't even really see it. I know others can see it, but if I, it's just like when I used to get designs on my nails and everyone's like, oh my God, I love it. It's so pretty. I'm like, I showed her a picture. I guess she did a good job, but I can't really see it myself. But back on track, in order to make sure you get every last bit of eye makeup off especially, but you can also use this over your full face, I take a cotton swab or a Q-tip and I make sure I run it along my waterline and then everything is gone. This is super important if you can't see well enough to make sure that you really cleaned your eye area or any area of your face. Highly recommended, okay? I think of anything else that I would recommend to you guys off the top. I exfoliate once a week. I still use masks to make sure that I don't get blackheads in this area. I need to get back to upper lip, either lasering or maybe even waxing because this is not it. I can't see it, but when I take a picture and I blow it up, no. <laughs> I still get my brows done because I cannot pluck them myself. That's just asking for problems. And anything like nose hairs or belly button, I just take the time to clean it out. Those things I can do myself because it's not so much seeing as much as just knowing, like if you go like this, you're not picking your nose, but you can feel if there's hairs there, right? So there's a lot of little ways that you can get to know yourself, your body and keep up with your keep up. And I hope that something from this video stuck and is useful. If you have anything to share with the community, put down below. Thanks as always for making it to the end of this video. If you haven't already subscribed for more and until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.